before this game, but however the game is on, only gets the ball up into his hand, sends a half shot blocked out to Aidan Crowley on the ball now. His way eventually gets the ball into the centre where Gerard O'Sullivan adds to it. Ball comes across to the far side of the field where it goes to Martin Cronin. Ace marksman for Valley Rovers. He's coming to take it. Valley Rovers, of course, who accounted for the Dove in the last round. He bends, lifts and strikes. And the first the ball out. High into the centre of the field. Up they reach for it. Gerard O'Sullivan with the ball. Gerard turns and sends his side attacking where the ball comes. Uh, racing across to Johnny Crowley but he fails to control it that was Dennis Crowley trying to add to it but back there is John O'Neill for Kilbritton and he gets the ball out along this near side of the field oh a lovely piece of catching there by Dennis O'Neill and he's I beg your pardon that's Geoffrey O'Connell and he sends the ball across into the centre pull on oh great it's a goal it's a goal a goal for Kilbritton Arshihi And bars puck high over the far side of the field. Waiting underneath it there is Tiggy Sullivan. He gets to it first. Gone over there to add to the bowl is Martin Cronin, but his shot is blocked down. In the meantime, stays the ball, steadies himself. Bends lifts and strikes it now. High in towards the goal, high and over the bar. Magnificent point, magnificent point by Aiden Crowell. So that there was nothing to allow, but he was really magic when he hit the ball over the bar to narrow that gap. Puck out, out this near side of the field, added to there. A little pushing on this near side of the field, but the man is Dennis O'Neill, comes away with the ball and sends his side attacking down in here to this corner forward position where the ball comes to Tom Brennan. He lets the ball run by him, but Brendan O'Sullivan from Valley Rovers has gone back there to cover. Near side of the field, Dennis Kiley trying to get the ball up, but can't succeed in doing so. Getting away with the ball is Dennis O'Neill. Dennis sends the ball diagonally in across the field where... Over there, the O'Connell brothers are trying to run for it. This is Charlie O'Connell, remember, he scored the goal a moment ago. Turns one-handed and shoots, it's a goal! Uh, oh, it's not, referee, referee John Motherway has seen a bit of hold. Standing over the ball, Ben saved, followed up, saved again. For every, oh, it's a goal, eventually it's a goal! To the centre, Dan O'Connell with the ball in his hand, turns and sends the ball back to Tom Brennan. Brennan's shot. High in towards the goal, but the umpire would judge that it came off one of the Valley Rovers players, and that will be a 65-metre free. Free being taken in the centre of the field by Tommy Sheehan. He sends the ball high and over the bar. From the free, John Shields sending the ball high in towards the goal. A lovely catch in there by Michael Hayes in the Kilbritton goal. And he clears his line out the far side of the field where it comes to Dennis Healy. Dennis sends the ball forward. Up there, reach for it. This is Brendan O'Sullivan. Brendan turns and sends the ball high to send his side attacking once. Oh, a lovely piece of catching in there by Chris O'Donovan. And he sends the ball high and over the bar. Dennis sends the ball high and towards the goal. Up they reach for it. The man who comes down with the ball in his hand is Charlie O'Connell. Sends the ball over the bar. And this is Gilbritton attacking once again per Pat O'Neill down the centre. But coming out there for Valley Rovers is Pat O'Mahony and he sends his side attacking up along the far side of the field. This is Chris O'Donovan. He's gone 20, 25, 30 metres. He turns and shoots the ball high and over the bar to narrow that gap. From the puck out, the ball comes high into the centre of the field. The man who gets the ball up is Dennis O'Neill for Kilbritton. He turns and shoots and he sends it down this near side of the field. Where coming across there for it is Tom Brennan. He turns and sends the ball over the bar. Conan for Kilbritton, but the ball only comes as far as uh, Martin Cronin on that far side of the field. He sends the ball in across the centre to Owen Burke. Oh, a lovely flick. A goal, John Shields for Valley Rovers. High ball in towards the goal, landing in the small parallelogram. Oh, a magnificent catch in there by Michael Hayes. And they kill Britain goal, clearing it out this near side of the field. Added to there, but this is Gerard O'Sullivan from Valley Rovers. He's surrounded by two kill Britain players. Can't get his shot in. Gets the ball back up at the second time of asking. The man hanging off him is John O'Neill, and the foul is created them. A stores manager who sends this ball high and over the bar to narrow that gap. 
to get the ball up, but Brendan O'Sullivan is there once again, centre back, and he sends a high ball. Brendan, of course, one of the team panelists earlier on for Cork this year. But down here in this near corner, that was Johnny Crowley trying to spread mayhem in the Kilbritton defence, adding to the ball over there. Now is Chris O'Donovan, but he's trying to get room and he's coming out from the goal. Misses the shot, then eventually gets it in on the ground. This is Martin Cronin for Valley Rovers. His half shot in towards the centre where it comes to. <laughs> 20 meter line is John Cheeves and St John sent ball down the centre of the field this is Jero Sullivan trying to scoop the ball out this near side of the field to Aidan Crowley but that went wrong and this is Dennis Healy for Kilbritton Dennis gets the ball into his hand and sends it forward this is Jeff O'Connell in quite a lot of space but well taken away from him by TJDC to Aidan Crowley who in turn gives the ball to Dennis Kiley and Dennis sends a high ball in towards the goal up there each for it brought down in there this is Johnny Crowley a goal Oh, a poorish puck out, but nobody was quite waiting for it. This is Dennis Kiley <laughs> sending the ball into the centre, but this is Tommy Sheehan, Tommy getting the ball down. Dennis Healy, Dennis Healy's shot is half blocked. There in the centre by Chris O'Donovan, and Chris goes back without a hurling up the head, and he kicks the ball, but this is Dennis Kiley. He's being chased over there by John O'Neill, but it's still Dennis Kiley. He's gone 20, 25, hand passes to John Crowley in the centre. Crowley hand passes to John Shields, and that's a goal! Till Britain were doing all the scoring, while in the closing sector it's Valley Rovers, because they lead three goals and six points to leave as the referee, John Motherway, blows the... In the centre of the field, the game is on. The sun that goes back there together, though, it's Dennis Kiley for Valley Rovers. Sending the ball forward to John Shields. We've gone back there to cover for Kill Britain is John O'Neill. But sending the ball as far as Dennis Kiley and he launches the ball at the goal. High and over the bar. Mm, and then Shea Huffle Cronin gets the ball away and there's a little bit of argy bargy. A rather ugly situation. And the referee, John Motherway, is writing his name in the book. And indeed, Pat O'Neill has been sent off to John Shields that yes all is now in readiness and the free can indeed be taken Benz lifts and strikes it high and over the bar to increase the Valley Rovers lead eight minutes gone in the second half O'Donovan's puck is high up along that far side of the field up they go for it oh a lovely catch by Gerard O'Sullivan and it goes right it does it go right this is Dennis Kiley but well, it's taken away by Chris O'Donovan a high challenge was made on Chris once again, John Shields, the man with the brain, lifts and strikes. Of course, as usual, John makes no mistake to increase the Valley Rovers lead to three goals and nine points, two goals and three for Kilbritton. That makes a difference. Of a fine performance, meantime, back with the play in the centre of the field. The man with the ball in his hand at this moment is... Owen Burke and he sends his side attacking in towards the centre John Shields trying to reach up for it gone back there to try and get the ball out is John O'Regan for Kilbritton can't succeed in doing so Dennis Kiley playing attacker or attacker playing defender if you will over there ball sent in by John Shields in as far oh dear it's a goal it's a goal Chris O'Donovan it appears it's so easy and it really is all too easy for Fowley. Hayden sends his side attacking once again. High up they go for it. Humphrey Cronin can't control the ball. Meantime, Martin Cronin trying to get the ball in as a hurley went flying high in the air. Martin gets the ball up, but his shot is blocked away from him by Pa Brennan. Over there is Owen Burke trying to get the ball in. Alongside him is John O'Regan. I beg your pardon, that's Humphrey... Once again, and the ball is back in there in the Kilbritton defence, blocked down back there dangerously so, but Johnny Crowley policing the ball, going out off the Kilbritton player, out over the line, and once again, a 65-metre free. Meantime, in the centre of the field, Aidan Crowley, with the resultant 65-metre free, sends it in towards the goal, blocked out there by the Kilbritton defence, turning and shooting it, goal! Oh, another goal! Owen Burke! into the centre of the field up they go for it and really they're celebrating at this stage in the game that's Dennis O'Neill trying to get a revival going for Kilbritton sending the ball forward where it's gone in as far as Thompson he has to go for a goal it's blocked out gone racing in the cross there to try and add to it is Tom Brennan the ball is cleared out eventually by Brendan O'Sullivan along the ground ball comes out off of TJ DC's Hurley out over the line near side of the field John Sheehy who was brought on as a substitute a few moments ago John with the sideline puck. Oh, misses it. Now has a cut again. Down this near side of the field, sending the ball across into the centre was Tim McCarthy. Saved in there by the goalkeeper. Oh, dear. Well, that's the difference maybe between the two teams because from the... 
John O'Donovan pucks the ball out high into the centre of the field. Valley Rovers celebrating early. That's Padraig O'Sullivan. He sends the ball attacking into the centre in there for this pass. Brennan and he sends his side out into the centre of the field once again. Oh, a lovely piece of catching there by Dan O'Connell in the centre of the field. But the ball is beaten once again. This is Chris O'Donovan. Hits the ball the upright. Oh, yes, it's another goal. On defence. Sends the ball high into the centre. And really, this game is almost stopped as Gerard O'Sullivan launches a high ball in towards the Valley Rovers attack once again. Johnny Crowley trying to get his ball in there. This is Martin Cronin. Martin can't control the ball. Johnny Crowley once again, and really everything goes right for you when you're on top, there's no doubt about it. This is John Shields, he's gone 20 metres forward, sends a shot in towards the goal. Oh, a great save in there by Michael Hayes, and he brings the ball out this near side of the field. For coming across is Humphrey Cronin, Humphrey leaves the ball there to Dennis Healy, but the two of them in turn are beaten, and this is Padraig O'Sullivan, gone towards the goal, turns and shoots, and of course he can do no wrong either because he sends the ball over the bar to increase the Valley Rovers' lead. The ball across, nobody there waiting for it except Valley Rovers people and of course this is Don Looney hurling the ball out along the ground in front of him, getting the ball then up into his hand, he's 45 metres from his own goal and still going, sending the ball into the centre, Chris O'Donovan all alone, hand passes the ball forward for intended pass to Martin Cronin, goes wrong and coming across into the near side of the field is Dennis O'Neill and Dennis turns and goes inside and sends his side attacking and sends the ball high and over the ball. About 45, 48 metres from the Valley Rovers goal, free quickly taken, sent in, Brendan O'Sullivan trying to get the ball out, hits it out towards the corner, flag gone over there to try and do something with it for Kilbritton is Tom Brennan, sends the ball over the bar. But really, it's some sort of a miracle because on my stopwatch I estimate that there's just about five minutes left in this game. In the centre, Padraig O'Sullivan, half hit the shot into the centre to where nobody in particular is going for it. I think both sides realise that this game as a contest is probably over, but this is Chris O'Donovan. Chris's shot is blocked as he tries to go through by Dennis Healy. Chris still trying to get the ball up. Eventually it comes to Dennis Kiley. Dennis hand passes to Martin Cronin. Martin rides one tackle and then shoots and sends the ball over the bar. But it doesn't really count because the referee, the referee had blown us dead straight in front of it. And the only thing that will be different about this is the name of the score getter because that's John Shields and that's over the bar to make the score now. Six goals and 11 points for Valley Rovers, two goals and five for Kilbritton. Once again, Michael Hayes with the ball in the Kilbritton goal, pucking it out high up along the far side of the field. Dan O'Connell now operating in the middle of the field there. He is fouled by Noel Brady, says the referee John Motherway. Substitution on the Valley Rovers team. Meantime, we'll stay with the play. Oh, it's a goal! It's a goal for Kilbritton. I'm at this stage in the game. However, back with the play. Pa Bre pa Finbar Sheehy, I beg your pardon, pucking the ball out. High, up they go for it over there. But really the bite has gone out of the game. As <laughs> oh, great save by Dan Looney. And um, from his shot, ball blocked by one of the Kilbritton players. Really needs some sort of miracle, and even that I don't think would pull this game out of the fire as we tick up towards the about two minutes left to play. Meantime, in the centre of the field, this is Aidan Crowley. Aidan sending the ball across to the far side. John Shields. Really, this move obviously well worked out in training because it has been used to good effect several times this afternoon. Side of the field, Dennis Kiley. Walking back and cutting the ball into the centre now. Up they go for it. And dangerously, the ball is hopping around in front of the Kilbritton goal. This is Martin Cronin. He gives the ball to Chris O'Donovan. Chris turns and shoots and sends the ball over the bar. The coming will probably be a national holiday week in the village of Inishannon. High into the centre of the field, up they go for it. The one who gets away with it eventually is Dennis O'Neill for Kilbritton, sending the ball down, but blocked out back there by Pat O'Mahony for Valley Rovers. Ball goes loose into the centre. This is Charlie O'Connell, Charlie, the goal scorer, of course, for Kilbritton earlier on. Brendan O'Sullivan winning the ball in a tight situation and sending the ball up along where it comes to Johnny Crowley for Valley Rovers. He gets the ball in as far as Martin Cronin, but Martin can't control it, and the chance for, which was there for a moment is suddenly gone. Martin gets the ball back once again alongside him over there is Humphrey, I beg your pardon, that was Finbar Sheehy and the ball eventually is cleared by Kilbritton to try and turn defence into attack but nothing seems to go right for you when it doesn't there's no doubt about it, Noel Brady sending the ball back into the centre of the field up they go for it gone back there for it is John O'Regan for Kilbritton and he gets the ball up where Noel Brady once again puts a hand up underneath it and 
Referee John Motherway blows the final whistle.